Hi, so in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can generate this specific pattern in the output. Okay, um, so in this pattern, you can see that you have, uh, so you have to use nested loops or nested for loops. So the first iteration, you print one star, second iteration, two stars, three stars, four stars, five stars, and so on. All right. Okay, so let's, let's uh, code this. So since I have two, uh, I have nested loops, I need to have two loop counters. All right, so the outer loop, okay, will run for five times, okay, because we have five rows. Okay, now the inner loop, okay, for J, okay, let me just put J less than five as well. So just to see the initial output. Okay, so I'm going to just keep it a bit simple just to see the outcome. All right, and then we will modify from there. So what I'm printing now is outer loop five iterations, inner loop five iterations. And for the inner loop, I will print five asterisks. All right, and after that, I'll go to the next line. Okay, so when I run this code, I will see this. Okay, five rows and each row five stars. Okay, but what I want is the first row one star second row two stars third row three stars and so on okay so the, the important thing here is to understand some relationship okay so what we must see is that when i is zero that means the very first instance of the outer loop i print one one star when i go to the next iteration of the outer loop i print two stars and so on okay so the number of stars that i print is actually directly related to the i value okay so instead of putting it as a fixed value of five for the inner loop i must pay i must say less than equal to i okay so with this what happens is when i is zero j is zero the condition is satisfied i print one star when i is one j will go from zero to one when i is two j will go from zero one and two okay so if i run this now you can see this print out over here okay so if i just change this number then i can get a bigger printout okay as shown here okay so it's always important all right when you are trying to solve a problem in the code try to look for patterns okay between variables or data okay and that can help you to write a code that is more efficient and more compact all right thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video Bye.